I'm doing a short video. Uh, I was do doing an intensive driving course yesterday in Spalding and uh, the subject came up of the clearance around the vehicle. Um, and the lad who was doing the course, um, what he said was, because uh, he's into his drumming, and he said, I had no idea that the hands and feet played such a big part when you're trying to um, synchronise your hands and your feet to take into account the stuff that's going on around you. Classic example, there is a cyclist. Uh, and uh, and I would say, yeah, it's interesting when people say things like that because, you know, I'm not being a drummer myself, but I would also include eyes as well because if your eyes don't see these little pinch points, then uh, then you, you tend not to plan for them. But um, let's just go, let's just drive around for a couple of minutes and just see some of these things as, as they're happening in real time. So here we have meeting situations. Imagine like a, a bubble around my car that I'm in, that I'm driving in. I don't want to burst the bubble. Or balloons maybe, balloons all the way around. It's tempting just to think about the forward facing part aspect of this on this subject, but it's all the way around the car, to the rear as well. We don't want to burst any balloons. We don't want anything coming into our, into our immediate vicinity of this car without me knowing about it really. So that would include uh, buggy um, pedestrians with buggies walking behind the car, cyclists coming up my left shoulder, motorbikes coming up my right shoulder, pedestrians here going across the um, zebra crossing, or maybe a cyclist coming across. I, I want to be taking all of these things into account. So my eyes are going to be working hard, really, to to identify these little these little pinch points. I mean, I'm, I'm on a 30 mile an hour road here, but this is just as important on the faster moving roads with the separation gaps, two, sec two, two second separation gaps when you dual carriageways and motorways, it's just as relevant. But just looking, just concentrating on this little bit to begin with, on, on these uh, roads. I mentioned in the, um, on the series on the manoeuvres about this aspect of when you're doing your manoeuvre and maybe a posty or a kid coming out of a driveway sort of taking you by surprise when you're in the process of doing your manoeuvre and it's that sort of thing that I'm talking about being being aware kind of like when you're on your uh, call of duty you know you, you very often you work together with somebody else to make sure well, everything's covered don't you all the angles are covered <laughs> nothing's nothing's going to come into where you are without and surprise you sort of like that I mean Another example would be supermarkets, wouldn't it, with trolleys. We don't go around banging people's trolleys, do we, in the supermarkets? Or even just the um, shopping centres, you know. We don't all go around bumping into each other. Look how far away I am from this fan here. I don't want the fumes from the exhaust coming into my, my engine. Uh, and likewise, if he, the vehicle, if the driver was to stall or break down, I've still got room to move away from the van. And it's this kind of thing that you'd be surprised it crops up so many different in so many different ways I just bunged up a blog blog the other day a blog even I just bunged up a blog the other day and it was about a bus coming into the minor road so you're in the minor road and you're you're coming to an emerge and you noticed in the major road there's a bus from your left and the bus driver is turning right into the minor road that you're in and uh, by by holding back, coming away from the giveaway lines, then the, you're you're allowing the bus to cut across, which in, is inevitable. They can't do it. It's the, it's the length of the vehicle that makes them cut across when they're turning right. But it wouldn't it wouldn't burst your bubble, you see, or your balloons in front of the vehicle. That's the point. You're giving you're making sure there's clearance there. So. It's not just consideration. I mean, sometimes you know this is actually you know nece a necessity for to allow the the traffic to still flow and keep moving. Being aware of what's going on around you at all times. So keep your observations up because your eyes. Are, are, the chap, what he said yesterday, is quite is quite true. It's quite an interesting way of looking at this. Your, your feet and your, your hands and your feet do need to synchronise in, in order to get that clutch control to, so that you can move around move around in these kind of conditions, slow moving traffic, um, under control. 
but it's also your eyes, you know, because you've got to be able to identify these little pinch points before they actually, before you get to them, so that you can start planning for them. So, in that regard, it's um, it's an essential, absolutely essential um, skill. The, the, the van driver there giving way to the to the old lady who wanted to cross the road. You know, it's that kind of detail that's really, really nice to see, and uh, it's it's more than just being nice. To be honest with you, it's it's kind of like essential. <laughs>